Starting a successful car company is no easy feat, as Henrik Fisker knows all too well. After a storied career at BMW and Aston Martin, the talented designer ventured out on his own with Fisker Coach Build, creating models like the Fisker Tramonto and Latigo CS, Fisker Automotive, the Karma, and VLF Automotive, the Force 1 V10. His latest venture, Fisker Incorporated, has given rise to the Ocean Electric SUV. We had the chance to experience the Ocean One, a limited edition launch model based on the top tier extreme trim, but with added unique features. This includes a two motor all wheel drive system, delivering 564 horsepower and 543 pound feet of torque, along with a 106.5 kilowatt hour battery that promises an EPA rated 360 mile range. The vehicle even features solar panels integrated into the roof. This Turo electric SUV is slightly larger than a Volvo XC60, with a bold, aggressive design featuring sculpted bodywork and a pronounced kick-up toward the rear belt line. Its striking Big Sur blue matte finish and 22-inch F6 Vortex wheels turn heads wherever we went. Inside, the cabin comfortably accommodates four adults, although the rear seats could benefit from more cushion depth and height. Fisker's commitment to sustainability is evident throughout the interior, with molly blue micro suede upholstery and a mix of recycled and synthetic materials. While the overall aesthetic leans more functional than luxurious, it serves its purpose well. On the road, the ocean's driving dynamics are generally solid. The steering is precise, and the brake response is adequate. However, ride comfort on rough surfaces could use improvement. And at 70 miles per hour, the 69 decibel cabin noise level falls short of the whisper-quiet interiors typical of many EVs. In Earth mode, the most subdued of the Ocean One's three drive settings. The accelerator response is sluggish and inconsistent, making it feel underwhelming even in everyday traffic. This seems particularly odd for a vehicle capable of accelerating from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.9 seconds and covering a quarter mile in 12.5 seconds. Switching to fun mode brings the ocean to life, delivering a more engaging and expected driving experience. It's certainly not a sports car. The ocean's undefeatable stability control system restricts its cornering grip to 0.79 G and its braking performance leaves something to be desired requiring 173 feet to stop from 70 miles per hour and a lengthy 350 feet from 100 miles per hour. Fisker has added several innovative features to the ocean. One such feature, California Mode, allows you to open all four main side windows, the small and somewhat impractical doggy rear quarter windows, the lift gate window, and the large sunroof with a single button press. The Ocean One also boasts a 17.1-inch infotainment touchscreen that rotates between vertical and horizontal orientations, enabling video viewing when parked. Pressing what appears to be a glove box release button reveals a small taco tray that slides out from the dashboard, while a second mini table folds out from the center console. On the top tier trim we tested, the solar panels integrated into the sunroof are claimed to generate over 2,000 miles of driving per year provided you park in the sun. During our tests, the solar roof powered about 10% of the miles driven. In our 75 miles per hour highway range test, the ocean delivered a commendable 290 miles of range. Unfortunately, some of the controls are less intuitive. Cruise control is operated via a thumb wheel and a few cryptic buttons, while the odometer is annoyingly buried in the touchscreen menus. The Ocean also features an electronic display of the rear camera feed in the rearview mirror, but it requires the driver to shift focus between the road and the screen, which quickly became tiresome. There were also several quality issues. The lift gate often failed to fully open when the exterior button was pressed. The climate control system was inconsistent, sometimes failing to generate enough heat and other times feeling too cold. A paired phone wouldn't automatically reconnect after a restart, even though it appeared on the list of pair devices. The car also defaulted to low regenerative braking after each start, even though the menu indicated high regen was selected. During acceleration tests, the launch control mode stopped working after a few attempts. And, notably, the SUV has some of the loudest turn signal clicks we've encountered. All of this suggests that Fisker rushed the Ocean's development and production started prematurely. 
Resolving such glitches is not glamorous work, but it appears Fisker won't get the chance. Obituary Fisker Inc. Fisker Incorporated of Los Angeles died on June 17, 2024. It was seven years old. Fisker Incorporated was born on October 3, 2016, to famed automotive designer and serial entrepreneur Henrik Fisker and his wife, Gita Gupta Fisker, who was responsible for finance and operations. In 2020, the company unveiled its first vehicle, the Ocean Electric SUV, to be built by Magnus Steyr of Graz, Austria. Intended to be the first of a multi-vehicle lineup, the Ocean wound up being the sole model Fisker produced. The first U.S. spec vehicles were delivered to customers in June 2023. The good news for Fisker ended soon after. Following a grim earnings call this past March, the company announced it would pause development of the pair SUV and the Alaska pickup while also laying off roughly 15% of its staff. Hope for a major cash infusion fizzled, leaving Fisker scrambling for capital. The bad news compounded, resulting in a pause in ocean production and price cuts of up to $24,000. On June 5th, Fisker issued a recall of 6,864 Ocean SUVs, believed to be all the vehicles in public hands in the United States, over a control unit defect. On June 17th, the automaker's operating subsidiary filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy, effectively sealing the company's fate. As part of the bankruptcy filings, Fisker agreed to sell the remaining 3,231 vehicles in its possession along with all relevant source code to a New York-based leasing firm as it liquidates its assets. The Fisker Ocean One represents an exciting foray into the electric vehicle market, blending cutting-edge design with commendable performance. As a limited production launch edition, it builds upon Fisker's bold vision for sustainable mobility, offering a striking design and innovative features that set it apart from the crowd. Design At first glance, the Fisker Ocean One makes a powerful statement with its aggressive and modern aesthetic. It's a two-row electric SUV that's slightly larger than a Volvo XC60, yet its sleek lines and sculpted bodywork give it a sportier, more dynamic appearance. The bold front fascia, combined with a high rear belt line and dramatic angles, give the vehicle an athletic stance. The limited edition Big Sur blue matte finish and imposing 22-inch F6 Vortex wheels make it a true head-turner on the road. The interior continues the modern theme, but with a strong focus on sustainability. Fisker has opted for eco-friendly materials like Molly Blue Micro Suede, made from recycled components to furnish the cabin. While the overall look may not be ultra-luxurious. Performance When it comes to performance, the Fisker Ocean One doesn't disappoint. Powered by a two-motor all-wheel drive system, it delivers a robust 564 horsepower and 543 lbfd of torque. This allows the SUV to sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3.9 seconds, putting it in the same performance league as many traditional sports cars.